the 18th day of July. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Emilian of Durosterum. When Julian the Apostate seized imperial power in 361, he counted as nothing the blessings received from St. Constantine the Great and his Christian education, but overturned public order by his tyranny, cursed God and set about restoring paganism, using every means at his disposal. He sent those officials he had managed to win over to his cause to the provinces to bring about the submission of the population. Capitolinus, governor of Thrace, went to Durostorum, the capital of Scythia. On his arrival, he immediately sat down in the tribunal and began to threaten with death not only the Christians, but also those who might refuse to denounce them. Those present were so afraid that they cried out that there were no Christians in their city and that everyone sacrificed to the emperor's gods. Capitolinus, reassured and full of gladness, went to attend the great banquet that had been organized in his honor. While they were all noisily celebrating, Emilian, a young Christian aristocrat, unable to remain silent at the offense being done to the true God and avid to carry off the martyr's crown, let himself into the temple armed with a hammer. He shattered all the idols, overturned the candelabra and the altars on which the offerings had been placed, and poured the libations of wine onto the ground. He then withdrew without having been observed. When the officials called Capitolinus what had happened, he was beside himself with rage and ordered that everything should be done to find those responsible. The soldiers, finding no one, and fearing to return to the tyrant empty-handed, seized a peasant from the, who was returning from the fields and dragged him to the praetorium, beating him with rods. Emilian was witness to this spectacle and refused to let an innocent man be punished in his place. He therefore went to hand himself over, shouting that he was the one responsible. The soldiers, surprised, hesitated at first, but afterwards took him before Capitolinus. The scowling magistrate, his eyes bloodshot, ordered him to declare who he was and what had driven him to commit such an act. Emilian declared that he was both slave and free, slave of God and free of the idols, and he added, it was love of God and zeal for Christ, as well as the repugnance the sight of those inert statues aroused in me that drove me to act and gave me the strength to destroy what is a cause of shame for the human race. For there is no greater shame for us who are created as rational beings than to adore beings without reason and to bow before the work of our own hands, refusing to pay the honor due to our only God and Creator. Enough of your rhetoric, so it was you who committed this sacrilege, said the magistrate. Emilian replied that he regarded his action with pride as the most noble and pious act of his life. Capitolinus ordered that he be stripped, stretched out on the ground, and beaten violently. As the saint continued to mock paganism, he had him turned over so that his chest might also be struck. On learning that Emilian was the son of Sebatius, the prefect of the town, Capitolinus could declare that his noble kinship provided no excuse for his behavior and would not save him from punishment. The saint himself refused to be declared innocent or to accept the mitigating circumstances that his interrogators tried to put forward to protect him, but rather insisted that he be punished with all possible severity so that he might not be deprived of the martyr's glorious crown. Seething with fury, Capitolinus condemned him to perish by fire and imposed a heavy fine on his father, judging him guilty of negligence. The soldiers immediately seized the saint and took him out of the town to the banks of the Danube, where a pyre had already been lit. As soon as he had been thrown onto the pyre, the flames turned from his body toward his torturers, burning them to cinders, while the saint continued to sing the praises of God, just as the young men in the furnace of Babylon had done. He made the sign of the cross, and after confiding his soul into God's hands, fell peacefully asleep, to be received into the assembly of the valiant athletes of piety. Capitolinus' wife, who was secretly a Christian, succeeded in obtaining the body of the holy martyr from her husband and confided it to devout Christians, who went to bury it in Gizedina, three stadia from Durosterum.
Heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. This day let us praise our God who is over all, and let us acclaim his martyr who strove lawfully and took the crown of victory by the might of the Spirit. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God Clothing for us. thyself with the strength of him who put on our infirmity because of his goodness. Thou didst repair the vain vaunting of the idol's infirmity, O glorious martyr, you divinely blessed Emilia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With joy O oh, thou this preach a unity threefold in number that is one in the identity of nature, O oh, celebrated Emilian, and contending most steadfastly, thou didst destroy the deceit of many gods, O oh, wonder worthy martyr. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ the Lord is my strength and my song and the enlightenment of my heart, O oh, all blameless virgin. Even he whom thou didst conceive, who is perceived into essences, but in one hypostasy. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O may, deem them all worthy of glorious crowns. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. The Lord of our God truly became a lamp to thy feet and a light unto thy paths, whereby thou didst strip up the steps of the transgressors and was glorified as a martyr. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for Directing us. Directing the ways of thy mind to the utterly tranquil haven of the divine will, O wise Emilian, thou didst escape the sea of polytheism stirred up by the spirit of wickedness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The celestial powers were astonished at Emilian's divine contest and his faith and courage unto death. 
How thou brought low in the flesh, he cast down the fleshless one. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy bringing forth past nature, thou didst escape the laws of nature, remaining a virgin after childbirth, O spotless virgin mother. For thou brought forth the fashioner of all creation. Thou who wast aflame with godly fervor, didst not fear the fire thy fellow servant, but didst enter the flames with a fearless will, to be consumed as the Lord's all burnt offering, and to be offered to thy master in sacrifice. O Emilian, the glorious martyr of the Lord, Entreat Christ God to grant great mercy unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. On becoming flesh in thy most pure womb, God was not divided from his Godhead, but became very man well remaining God. And thee his mother he kept in virginity, as undefiled after childbearing as before. Intercede with him with fervor, who is the only Lord, to grant great mercy unto us, O blameless one. Seated in glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus most divine has come on a light cloud, and with his incorrupt arm has saved those who cry. Glory to thy power, O Christ. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. The divine desire for God wondrously set thee aflame, by which thou didst patiently endure the fire and the bitterness of the scourgings, casting the gods of the godless into the fire, and bedewing the souls of the faithful, O all blessed Amelia. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God Thou for didst us. disdain things present for the sake of those that alone abide, and bones thy whole soul to longing for God, so destroying the dominion of impiety, O prize-worthy, prize-winner Amelia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Piously glorifying the one nature and one glory of the three Son Godhead, O Emilian. Thou didst enter into the arena like a courageous warrior, and didst dash the mighty dragon to the ground. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We glorify thee, O all-holy maiden, that alone was found to be the place of holiness for him who has hallowed us, through whom we who dwell on earth have been made heavenly, and have been vouchsafed through life. All creatures were so amazed at thy divine and great glory made, O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock. For thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gavest birth to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. With the drops of thy sacred blood thou didst quench the fire of godlessness, O Emilian. Wherefore thou hast made a fountain of miracles to overflow, which keeps back the swarms of the passions, washes away diseases in its floods, and sings the demons in the deep. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. The ungodly man commanded thee to be stretched out and beaten, wherefore when thy flesh was torn to shreds, and thou wast wounded by the tortures, thou didst portray the blessed passion of him that was wounded upon the cross, O athlete. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou art filled with the Spirit's gifts, thou heals incurable diseases, Thou makes the burning heat of sicknesses to cease, Thou dost banish evil spirits, and Thou helps sword in afflictions, O admirable Emilio. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I am wounded with the sword of sin. Heal me with Thine only factual remedy, O all Immaculate Lady. 
For thou didst conceive Christ the Saviour, who was wounded with a lance for my sake, and arrived the serpent's heart. I am come into the deeps of the sea, and the tempest of my many sins has overwhelmed me. But since thou art God, bring my life up out of corruption, O thou who art plenteous in mercy. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. Through thy martyrdom thou art become blessed and full of divine glory, O blessed one. And thou dwells in the heavens with the angels, asking that our souls be saved. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst not spare thy mortal body, slain therefore for love of him that slew our passions, Thou hast inherited immortality that ever abides, O glorious Emilia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The shrine of thy relics overflows with myrrh like a river, O all-blessed and courageous martyr, and it ever does away the odious diseases of man. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the tree Eve gathered a deadly fruit, but thou, O all-pure virgin, has borne us fruit, the tree of life, whose tasting has restored all the dead to life. Today thy memory has shone upon us, brighter than the sun, O prize winner, Emilian, gladdening every heart, enlightening the minds of the faithful, and driving away the darkness of diseases. And as is meet, we call it blessed. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly mind did use, adore, and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, thou Lord God of our fathers. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. Illuminated with the grace of the divine spirit, O blessed martyr inspired of God, thou didst enter the fire of the furnace and didst chant, O supremely praised Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for Burning us. Burning with the love of Christ, thy beloved, O most blessed, thou didst not fear the fire, wherein thou wast bedewed and in spirit didst chant, O supremely praised Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the beauty of thy contest, thou art become like the incorporeal powers, the wise Emilian, with whom thou stands before Christ the most fair, singing with gladness, O supremely praised Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O bride of God, who art worthy of thy name, with faith we cry, rejoice to thee. Thou didst conceive joy unspeakable, Christ the Lord, unto whom we shout, O Lord, the God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out in chant. He works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O holy martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. After destroying the idols of Ero, thou didst free him that was held in bonds instead of thee, and didst set out for martyrdom of thine own will, O Lord Emilian, crying out you works of his, O sing the Lord praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Holy Martyr Emilian, pray to God for us. Behold, I am found of them that sought me not, and have appeared to them that ask not for me. Understand, you transgressors, so did thou cry out, O renowned Emilian, for thou madest haste to be sacrificed like a godless lamb, crying out, O oh, sing the Lord's praises and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The great Emilian has called us together to a feast, setting forth his wrestling as repasts. Let us revel spiritually, O oh, you faithful, and let us sing. You works of his, O oh, sing the Lord's praises and 
Exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Rain Amen. upon me a drop of mercy. Thou who didst conceive the fountain of mercy, dry up the showers of my sins and calm the savage billows of my soul. O you virgin Theotokos Mary, that I may glorify thee unto all the ages. If by the disease of disobedience brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth the blessing for the world. Wherefore we all magnify thee, O holy martyr Amelia, and pray to God for us. Desiring to behold the ineffable gladness and delight of God, thou didst gladly despise all the delightful things of life, O glorious martyr. And it's run with joy the whole course of martyrdom, wherefore with longing we call thee blessed. Holy Martyr Amelia, pray to God for like us. Like a sacrifice roasted upon the fire, O all famed Amelia, thou was brought to the divine table of him who was sacrificed like a lamb, conserved with a spiritual fragrance and deemed worthy of true glory. Wherefore we all call thee blessing. Holy Martyr Amelia, pray to God for Today us. Today thy memory has shone upon us brighter than the sun, O prize winner, gladdening every heart, enlightening the minds of the faithful, and driving away the darkness of diseases. And as is meet, we call it blessing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The elect assembly of the firstborn has gained thee as a fellow citizen. All the martyrs are glad, beholding thee, joining in choir with them. With them remember those who remember thee, O great martyr, great of name. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Illuminate with thy light me who walk in darkness, O all hymned virgin. Give me a helping hand, scatter the clouds of my soul, and quiet the tempest of my passions, O refuge of the despairing. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants, and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of all fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the holy martyr, Emilian of Durostorum in Thrace, with the prayers of the holy martyrs, the Grand Duchess Elizabeth, and those with her, the novice Barbara, the Grand Duke Sergius, and Princess John, Constantine, Igor, and Vladimir, and the holy martyr Theodore, who was slain by the atheists in the year 1918. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Paul, Thea, and Valentina, a Caesarea of Palestine. With the prayers of the holy martyr Hyacinth of Amastris. With the prayers of the holy martyr Marcellus, who, having been stretched out on a burning bed of fire, was perfected in martyrdom. With the prayers of the holy martyrs Dacius and Maron, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of our righteous father Pamvo of Egypt. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints Stephen, Archbishop of Constantinople, who was from Amasia, and John the Confessor, Metropolitan of Chalcedon. 
with the prayers of the holy martyr Sinforosa of Tivoli near Rome and her seven martyred sons, Crescens, Julian, Namasius, Primitivus, Justin, Stactius, and Eugene, who were slain by the Emperor Adrian. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Anastasius of Clisma in Egypt, with the prayers of Saint Philostrius, the Bishop of Brescia, with the prayers of the holy horror martyr Frederick, the Bishop of Utrecht, with the prayers of our righteous father John, the much suffering Oracles of the Kiev Caves, with the prayers of our righteous father Pamvo, the Oracles of the Kiev Caves, with the prayers of our righteous father Leontius of Karikov, with the prayers of St. Thanai of Glasgow, with the prayers of Saints Edburga and Edith of Aylesbury, with the prayers of St. Gonnery of Brittany and St. Minborinus of Cologne, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 